peace and divine blessings family i hope everybody is doing good this beautiful beautiful lunar monday i hope that i'm loud and clear let me turn my volume up turn all the way up because y'all can hear this so what i want to speak a little bit about today is investing into your future and um <clears throat> knowing that there is there is wealth and you are the true wealth and abundance and so anything that you want you can get regardless of how you get it anything that you want you can get because you are the true currency and so um <clears throat> i have to tell you that i've been in investing into bitcoin and not just letting it just sit in my coin base and look cute but i've been multiplying my bitcoin so if nobody's not familiar with Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency, Litecoin, Ethereum coin, Ripple coin, it's just like the stocks. It's just like, you know, putting sort of like the stocks. It's kind of like, you know, putting, putting money into Johnson & Johnson or into Google. It's something you're buying into and <clears throat> you, can, you can do different things with it. You can flip it and when the profit goes up on the coin that you buy, you can flip it and make whatever profit you want to. You can hold the coins and wait till they, you know, get bigger. But everything rises and falls. So everybody's just like, well, you know, Bitcoin is going to crash and it's a Ponzi scheme. There's just so much, you know, misinformation about things. And we all have our opinion in things. Um, but there's, there's people out here that's been getting this money. You know, scare money don't make no money. So um, there's nothing new under the sun. Like Bitcoin is just like another form of, of, of doing stocks and stuff. And so, um, and so you can't let people's fear stop you for trying things. You know what I mean? Like um, people's fear will really stop you from, from wanting to try some things. And if you're not investing, um, if you're not invested into Bitcoin, what are you investing in? Can you honestly say right now that you can go to your account and pull out five thousand dollars? Can you even pull out a thousand at your account, at your at your savings account? You know what I'm saying? Are you living paycheck to paycheck? You know, so if you're not invested into Bitcoin, what are you investing in? Are you doing some type of stocks? How are you flipping your money? If your money is in your savings account, how is it growing? Do you have a certain type of savings account that make your money grow? Like, you know, we we have to have multiple streams of income. You know, we just can't have one stream of, of income. So what is your multiple stream of income is my question. And um, <clears throat> so I started, so I, I got me some Bitcoins. I'm just going to share my experience because that's the best thing is just, you know, share your experience and your journey and, and how you have came so far with, with the coins. And so um, <clears throat> I brought a little bit of a uh, Bitcoin. And so, um, you know, so most people get Bitcoin and they leave it in their, um, they leave it in their Coinbase account. And that's cute. You know, it grows a little interest depending on um, what the currency of the day is. But if you were to, really see your you know your bitcoin multiply there's certain platforms you can do that in so let's just say it like this so i put in um december december 5th i put in about 730 dollars in this platform and um today is the 18th and i already have a hundred of that dollars a hundred of those dollars back in my account now mind you it's gonna still go up um before i mean it, it takes about 140 days after 140 days from me putting 730 dollars in there um i am going to have 2300 now i can choose to pull that money out on a daily basis or i can choose to just let that stack up and after the 140 days, go ahead and pull my 23 out. Now, mind you, if you would have put um, 700 and 30 dollars into a savings account and just let it sit there, 
<laughs> you're not gonna you're not gonna come out with that amount <laughs> you know after after that five or six month uh um five or six month period of time of you having seven hundred and thirty just in your savings account it's not gonna gain interest like that at all it's not and so people have been making it just seems like us and I'm only speaking for like the black conscious like the black community we are like the last ones to jump on this boat because we're always um you know living in lack and not thinking that we are worthy of things and always thinking that we got to work hard to get money you don't really have to work hard to get money your money should be working for you there's so many uh people that's making six and seven figures right now that know that they 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 know that um and so uh bitcoin is nothing to be afraid of it's just like digital currency when you think about your everyday life most of the times most of your transactions are digital we don't really do a lot of things with fiat money some people prefer to pull money out and go to the stores and you know spend fiat money but majority of us do everything online digitally that's the same thing cryptocurrency is that's the same thing bitcoin is digital currency if I wanted to um, send you money, I don't have to wait for no bank or no delayed transaction. I'll just send my coins straight to you. And guess what? Yes, for people who are skeptical and scared, well, how can I pull my money out the ATM? Can I still get fiat money? There are cards, credit cards, visa cards. So this is the thing. If this wasn't something legit, companies wouldn't be buying into it. Companies wouldn't be buying into these coins if it's, you know, big time companies too. Overstock right now, if you go to overstock.com, you can pay with Bitcoins and you can pay with Litecoin on Overstock. So if this was something that wasn't legit or was a Ponzi scheme, would nobody be investing into it like that? So I'm just here to share my experience. Um, I'm one of them type of people I see past the bullshit. So I'm able to see opportunity before things like kind of take off and I see opportunity in cryptocurrency. And you know, even if you're not, you know, if even if you're not doing Bitcoin, I still ask you, what are you investing in? Are you doing some type of forex trading plan? Are you doing trades? Cuz trades and forex program has been around for years. So what are you doing to invest your money? Stop living paycheck to paycheck. You know, instead of you spending, because what we do is we spend money on stuff we don't need. And then when we really need money, we have to end up selling the stuff that we brought just to get money. So it's like things we really don't, we, we really don't need to spend money on. And you can take that same, you can take, take that same bit of uh, money and invest it and put it somewhere and make it grow from you instead of just you know, just sitting on the money. So that's my little spiel on uh, on Bitcoins. If you want to know more and get down in the nitty gritty of Bitcoins or cryptocurrency or gold also, because here's the thing, having owning assets, you should own assets, you should own something, some type of land, some type of gold, something, because if and this is just hypothetically if everything was to stop right now and because the, the dollar is is weak cryptocurrency is backed by the people so the energy is in the people the dollar is backed by the government anything can crash bitcoin can crash and the dollar can crash people are like well well what if bit bra uh, what if bitcoin crash well what if the dollar crash if you ever ask yourself that what if the dollar crash so it's better it's better to have a little bit of everything so if anything hits the fan you'll be prepared one thing about it is gold ain't going nowhere gold ain't going nowhere so you know you can take stack your money up on bitcoins and invest in gold invest in gold and have the gold at your crib you don't got to worry about it being in no third party bank to have your gold at the crib yes right now bitcoin is worth more than gold but just like anything has ebb and flow it goes up and it goes down 
So let's just say Bitcoin may go down. But guess what? You got your gold, though. You got some assets. It's time to really start building empires, y'all. We have to get out of this lack mentality. We have to get out of this hustle mentality. Don't come in cryptocurrency trying to uh, get rich or die trying. Because, yes, you can make fast money. But we have to start thinking long jeopardy. We have to start thinking long-term money. We have to start building stuff for our children's children's children and our family. It's not always about quick, fast money. Who wouldn't like quick money? I understand. But sometimes you have to also build up your future. So um, I'm not going to get too much about it. But, hey, don't be discouraged by what people are saying. Do your own research. We get so influenced by what somebody else said. Well, so-and-so posted, you shouldn't do it because it's going to be like this. Do your own homework. Do the work. That's the problem. People don't want to even do the work in themselves. They don't even want to invest and do the work in themselves. So, of course, they're not going to do their homework and see what cryptocurrency is about and and, and draw their own conclusion. Um, and it's all spiritual. So, if anybody is interested in, um, you know, taking this thing, if anybody's interested in learning more about Bitcoin, um, I just want you to hit in this post, learn more. If you already have Bitcoin and you want to learn how to multiply your Bitcoin and not by just living it, leaving it in your Coinbase account, I'm talking about literally multiplying your Bitcoin. Let me know if you're interested in buying gold. Let me know if you're interested in becoming a trader and getting a free education on learning how to trade step by step. You're going to be dealing with people that are making six or seven figures. I do Zoom calls with people that are making six and seven figures. They're not making no, like you can't, you can't go to your broke friend and ask them what they think about cryptocurrency and what they think about trading. They broke. How are they going to tell you anything? They broke. What you can do, though, is speak with people who's making money. Because the people who's making money, that's who you want to surround yourself with. Because you are your environment. So you keep hanging around with your little broke friend that's skeptical about things, that's not about making any money, that's scary. Because that's what type of vibration you're going to stay in. But I'm going to tell you, I already had my first retirement at the age 27. I'm 30 right now. Before 33, I'm going to do my second retirement. I don't go to work right now. I live life. Right now, I don't know, it's about 8 in the morning here in Cali. I travel the world. I'm about to go to the gym. So no more 9 to 5, y'all. No more 9 to 5. You should be able to live your life. So if you're about that life, it's not for everybody. And I'm not here trying to push it down to people who not about it. I'm here for the people that's willing to learn and who's willing to step out of the box and change your mindset. Because it's a mindset. Cryptocurrency is a mindset. Money is a mindset. So let's stop living in lack and fear. And let's know that we can get whatever we want. Times is changing, y'all. It's new currency. So Hit me up if you're interested. Um, like I said, I put a $730 into Bitcoin to a platform, and it's been two weeks, and I already made $100 back from that money. And I can show you on my account if you're really that interested um, about how I took that. But, uh, hey, it's money to be made out there, y'all. Everything's not a Ponzi scheme. Everything's not a pyramid. You actually need to check the definitions of these things and really, you know, learn what that is. So, um, I hope everybody has a blissful, abundant day because I know I am. So, no more 9 to 5, y'all. Hit me up. Love you a lot. Peace out.